Okay, we are ready to continue. So I will just turn this off. Yes. And I'm ready too. So, Budapest is up. Budapest, um, well, they start with uh, two town centers in the beginning, and there are also lakes to the in, to the sides of the map. I will just throw it um, when when it started. Um, it's these maps are all in the forgotten. Oh shit, it's bugged. Okay, so uh, I don't know. I'm not a spectator anymore, so I think we will just see what Zayas does, and I will try not to delete any tasks that there's no videos in the meantime. Oh, so that's very unfortunate. Okay, so I will try to do it uh, while Zayas is playing. This is a really weird bug uh, in the spectator to mode. I think I was in spectator. Yes, I was in spectator to mode. Okay, so there should be a lake um, in the south, in this part. So he. So I has already scouted it, and to this all all the four sides of, of the map there there are lakes with a lot of fish in it. So um, yesterday the game when Shuzadu and Undertaker played, um, I think Shuzadu went for the, for the shipping uh, for shipping um, sh fishman ah, what are those fishing ship boom and. Uh, Undertaker just ignored the water and he was able to um, go faster. He was able to go fa castle faster and just raid with the knights. Um. Okay, so in this this map is a little bit different. Of, uh, there is a different approach um, the players take uh, to go to feudal age. There is. I don't know if there exists any good um, number where to go up. Um, I haven't played it myself, and only so guys played yesterday. So and they went up somewhere around 35 a population to to the feudal age. Um, so they are playing as Mayans. Okay. So about the Mayan civilization, let's quickly look at. <laughs> a just quick we look at their um, their um, bonuses. So they start with plus one villager and minus fifty food. Um, but their resources last twenty percent longer. And archers are the, there have those plumed ranch plumed archers are extremely strong and extremely fast so they are very hard to counter if masked. Their unique techs uh, also concern archers, the obsidian arrows, uh, they have plus 3 attack versus buildings so if they are masked then they are really, really just un unbeatable. Um, also there is Eldorado so to make the eagle warriors of of the Mayans a bit stronger. Um, it's not the same as for Aztecs who have plus 4 attack, but they are still pretty strong this way since they last longer. Okay, so um, my my spectator mode, mode is bugged so I can't turn Fog of War off. Uh, so <laughs> you just gonna have to bear with me and I will try to guess what Zaijin is doing but based uh, from his score he's doing less of scouting and just I don't know what he's doing oh no I with Zaijin okay so Zaijin is doing less scouting and Zaijin already scouted <laughs> scouted Zaijin but he just sent all those uh, all those cows to uh, Zaijin's town center, like he was just giving it back. So. Uh, that's what Undertaker did like, and in the game, so he just <laughs> steal, stole all the sheep and cows from, from Shuzadu. <laughs> okay, so I don't see... Oh, there is a dog from Zayats. So he's going for those 
fishing boom for the fishing woman sees quite a few villagers on wood um, so Zaijin has a quite a good I think Zaijin has a better micro um, than Zayats um, it was visible in the last game he just he was able to um, just boom uh, while defending that push from push from Zayat uh, in the field, feudal age. Okay, so there is he's fishing in both of his legs, Zayat, and he's putting down a few more houses, but he's not luring these beers. He just using the cows. Actually, there is different speed of uh, getting food from animals, so I think the least goes, goes deer or boar, deer, boar, cow, uh, berries and then farms. So you should always pr prioritize those boar uh, instead of the cow or sheep you have, uh, because you get food much, much quicker from those wild animals. Okay, so uh, Zayat is walling now uh, uh, in, this, in the north. Um, I think to protect that side from any any flush any flushes from that side. And there is one fishing ship, three fishing ships in the second lake. And also looking at his map, he has a really good gold in the back. Um, the second, his second gold is in the front, but he's uh, he would he's gonna be able to wall it off quite easily. So um, there is should be fine. And um, but he 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 lost his scout, or I don't see his scout. Ah no. These are his two now. He is just standing around with his two scouts. Um, in Budapest, you are starting with two, um, just to because you have two town centers, you have double from everything. Uh, my stream title is. Oh, I thought I changed my stream title. Okay. I will try to change. Okay, so that is up to feudal. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay, so should be. Uh, how do I edit this? Sorry for the. Okay. That's versus Saichi. Sorry for the wait, I will be just right back. should be better uh, okay so let's go back okay uh, sorry for that um, okay so he's up to feudal and both guys up to feudal and Zaijin <laughs> he's he has already the uh, wall stone wall this part is gonna be great sorry for this guy voices um, please don't write me on Skype if you are listening. Okay. So he has a few idle villagers there, as I had. Uh, yeah. What? And I think he's going fast castle. Yes, he is up to castle now. Castle age. And 
I think that's the basic strategy in here, and they are just trying to get to castle, get those blue marchers out, and uh, try to attack them. Uh, but he didn't wall this part. Uh, he didn't even scout this part. So if Zaijin did scout that part, then it will be easy for him to come here and attack the wood line. Wood line right there. No, no, he's walling it. Only houses. Um, also, he's using houses to wall. He's low on. Um, players seem to forget that it's, it's a resource too, those houses. I always get housed, so. Um, okay, so. Zaitz is now going with his two scouts to scout out what Zaijin is doing. Um, he has little scouting information at the moment, so. Um, he doesn't know what Zaijin is doing and you should scout all the time um, especially when you're playing 1v1 uh, to know what, the open, what your opponent is doing and what units should, you should be producing and to counter the attacks from, from your opponent ok so um, just let's look at Zaijin he has a few How's this down there? And I think I don't know what to see. What Zaitz is looking for there? But he's stonewalling to the left side. He's using those idle villagers that were just standing around there. Um, he has the black fish. He already did the uh, cover. What? No, there is no covering. He didn't do the any of the. He didn't do fletching yet. But if he's going archers, then he should be. No, he's going. Eagle Warriors, Mass Eagle Warriors. And there is the Elite Eagle Warrior upgrade. Um, I think it will be okay if you um, trade it on the Facebook group. Okay, so he's stonewalling <laughs> uh, behind his house's Zeds. Um, so those are the, the elite evil warriors, they will be able to kill off that, villi that villager quite fast. Yes, he's almost out. That's a villager, that's the first kill in the game, I think. <laughs> that's funny. We are at 20 minute mark and there are no kills yet. And both of those guys walled, just walled. I think it Budapest is quite easy because of those wood, because of that wood. Okay, so Zaijin is going... A Borax too, he is also castle at the moment. And there is a castle from from Zayats, so he will be able to produce wound archers and he has very few fishing ships, I only six? No, this is there is more, so this is seven and three does ten fishing ships. I don't know, I don't see any dogs from Zaijin, so maybe he just ignored those fish. Um, so that's a good advantage for Zayats to have. Um, okay, so third town center going down for Zayats. And he is he's producing a lot of uh, eagle warriors. Uh, he also has now plus one attack and plus one defense. Okay. Where is his blacksmith? Uh, I don't know. Okay, so that castle is gonna be down. Oh, did he lose those two scouts? No, they are here around here. Um, Jean is not taking gold from that secondary gold. Oh, and there is the scout. Oh, three eagle warriors now from Zaijin. I think they are just scouts. So. Need to worry about it. Okay, so this is this is quite saturated. He should put maybe two lumber camps, um, so the villagers don't have to walk that far. Because if, if they walk this far, your wood income is much lower, and all those villagers are bumping on the way. It's not very so there is a siege workshop from Yes, 
Zaijin won the first game. Um, this is 1-0. But we will have for the next game an, an image that or an overlay that will show the score. But I didn't have time to set it up before the game, so. Uh, okay, there are two uh, black things down for uh, Zyax. Um, he still doesn't have fletching. Um, the, is he producing? No, he's not producing any. So he's just going with those elite eagle warriors. Uh, he has quite a few. Um, okay, and in the meantime, I think there are a few more streams. Um, that are on the right now. Uh, most of the guys have time to, to play in this game. So Saijin has a, quite a few Eagle Warriors too. There's all our eagle, elite. He has plus one attack and plus two defense. And the same for, for Zerts. Um, Zerts is mm, he, he's still producing those uh, Eagle Warriors. And he's trying to take down those walls from Zayas, uh, from Zaijin. Um, Zayas, I think, microed quite well. Um, he lost, he lost a few of those, but he's gonna be able to to attack and raid uh, Zaijin's economy while Zaijin is just defending and and. It's, Never really good to be, be just defending. He should attack somewhere or raid his economy because Zayas is gonna go up. Yes, he uh, Zayas is gonna have a better economy um, and will be able to produce a lot more units, military units. So there is a force town center down from uh, force town center down from. For Zayats, uh, well, it keeps attacking, but this attack is gonna be pushed back because um, Zaijin has a lot more, lots more e eagle warriors there. So. Okay, so now uh, Zayats is going for those plumed archers. Um, uh, I think he will be thinking about going, uh, <laughs> but he still didn't do fletching. Come on. And does he, you have to do fletching. Uh, if you have plus one range and uh, plus one attack, so those are very important uh, upgrades. Those are the first one you should get if you are going archers. That and, mm, and the second upgrade, I forget how it's called. So he's still just Zeus is still standing around with his scouts and not really scouting. Um, I will be interested in what what is Zaijin doing in the meantime. So he's just Zayas is just hitting those walls and he wants to clean the up. So maybe uh, Zaijin doesn't see the units going through there. Okay. So He's taking a lot of stone there. Uh, he has enough wood for a second castle. Um, I don't see any second castles. Uh, he didn't put down any second castle. Uh, he's just waiting for something. Uh, okay, so these squires, he should have upgraded the squires so his eagle warriors can move faster and raid faster. Um, also, that's one. Even if you are doing, um, if you are doing so many, so much raiding, it's also a very important uh, upgrade. So there is still the flashing from from that. Uh, he's just focusing on economy right now. He's doing wheelbarrow. Um, I think it's quite late too. Um, Usually is the one that you want to get right after you get to castle age. So, or and if you have 30 villager or more, um, it will it will really up your you will be able to get resources much faster. So okay, so Zaijin uh, 
uh, somehow he got in. Uh, oh, right there. There is a gap in the wood. Uh, I think Zeiss didn't scout that part, so. And he's coming a little with the siege uh, also. And those evil warriors in Zaijin's base that um, had cleared. Zaijin had cleared up that which is pretty nice. So there are a few pinned archers and. See if he doesn't have university desires and he should get university so this guy sitting in the bottom of the castle uh, could be uh, then we'll be able to attack. So there is a second castle to protect that gold and I think stone and also that room and the siege workshop. Maybe a Mangonol would help against that siege, but he has very few Eagle Warriors left. Um, I think he's just trying to get Imperial and um, make those Imperial themed archers, the elite themed archers, um, and mess them up, probably. And Zed right now has a pretty good uh, score lead around. 700 points. Uh, and he's really, he's really high in gold. He should, I think, should, he's waiting. He's not doing the upgrades, elite upgrades, no. Conscription, conscription um, would make the production of those elite warriors so much faster. Uh, if possible, he should get the 20. Okay, so I think Zaijin stopped his attack, or he's just going somewhere different. Yes, yeah, and there is that Mangala. That's very good, uh, good play from Zaz. Those Mangala, those battering rams are going to be taken down in just a minute, so they will just not be able to stand up. So. Um, but. So there is a lot of Eagle Warriors now, there now, and no conscription, no elite plumed archers right now, he's doing a lot of Eagle Warriors, and is he scouting? Uh, no, he's not scouting. Um, he almost depleted all the fish, there should be a bit more fish to the left side of this lake, and he didn't get to the end of that second. But it should give him quite a good advantage on the food side. He's low on food. Um, he's spending all his gold, I think, on all these eagle warriors. Um, but, okay, so the only good counter to those eagle warriors would be man at arms, but I don't see Zaijin doing any of those. Oh, he has a lot more. <laughs> The whole army of those universe, he should, be, he should be able to push this right back. Um, and that uh, should just go back, he has no chance of winning this fight. Um, he's, there is also a slight heal, so Zaijin has the heal advantage. Uh, so when you are attacking uh, uphill, then you get 25% less. Attack and when you're attacking downhill, you get plus 25%. Um, that has a higher score, but and he's doing a raiding in the back, so that's very good. And he's just keep when you're raiding, um, it's a good strategy to split uh, those evil warriors, so you will be able to like this. So you have three, you you send them in groups but you are attacking from all sides and at the same time so they are very hard to, uh, hard to focus on them um, so I think uh, those evil warriors are gonna destroy uh, Zaijin's whole economy and it's gonna be hard to, for Zaijin to uh, keep up those elite evil warrior production if uh, if, if his economy, if his food income and also his cloth income is gonna be really low. Um, I haven't seen any uh, monasteries from 
Zaiji, uh, Zayat, so I think he's, he has a, quite a few gold, so he's not worried about the gold right now. Um, does anybody see any trebuchets? No. Um, so Zayat did the... Um, okay, so Zaiji is calling GG, he has very low, he's very low on villagers and his economy is just raped and he doesn't have any free gold mines. So that's very good play from Zayats this game and it evens out the series to 1-1 one, one. and the last game are, is gonna decide and I have to check which map is it. A good game from these guys, good comeback from Zayats and it's 1-1. One, one.